I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my weekly overview. It's a very, very interesting week uh, this week. There's a lot of movement happening. So a lot of transits. First of all, there is a full moon. Now, full moon energy can be unsettling. Um, now, um, I love it because it brings, I mean, I was born in a full moon, so I always do feel very unsettled with the full moon, but um, it does help you bring things to a closure. So, and if you do feel a little bit out of sorts, then give yourself a break and say, okay, fine, let's not, we don't have to do that today. We don't have to make that decision today. Um, if your energy feels a bit low, I, you know, I don't have to work the, um, 12 hour hour day to give yourself a little bit of a break okay you want to work with the energy not against it so keep that in mind so that's for this week now the only thing that's happening this week is is Jupiter the planet of abundance and expansion also known as like the lucky planet um, comes out of its retrograde phase so it's stationary direct on the 30th so that's midweek on the Wednesday so this week uh, just give it time to turn around and go direct and come back in phase but from next week or, or certainly towards the end of this week depending on what area of life that it relates to in your solar chart you'll need to go back to your individual readings to find that out uh, it will just help you to get more in swing and work with the energy rather than feel that things are being delayed in that area of life. Um, Mars is going to transit into Pisces at the end of the week on the 2nd and Venus is going to transit out of uh, Capricorn and into Aquarius on the same day on the second so momentarily there there's like a, a, a moment when Venus and Mars are going to connect okay and this is fabulous energy because it's almost like you know right there in that moment you can cross paths with somebody um, and once again depending on what area that it relates to in your solar chart cross paths with someone that you have an electric connection because let's not forget that Mars and Venus are like the yin and the yang of love so Mars is the passionate side of love and Venus is the more romantic temptress alluring side and together they make up the the love vibration of, of the zodiac um, so it's a very interesting week there is a um, challenging aspect between the Sun and um, Saturn this week it's a square it's on the 30th so it's right in the middle of the week just to sort of you know throw in a, a few challenges there and uh, sometimes this can give you the feeling of uh, that there's something you want to do but you really feel you should do something else so you really need to come. Sometimes it can relate to conflict with other people. Other times it can simply be a conflict between yourself. Okay. Have a great week. Um, lots happening. So thank you so much as always for following me and watching my videos, reading my horoscopes and visiting my web pages. And love and luck to you. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.